Hi everyone, my name is Brian, I'm the 3D print creator and today we are going to talk about the defective part cooling fan for the Bumble Up P1S. So a few weeks ago I started getting messages on the screen of this Bumble Up P1S printer uh, that there was an error with the part cooling fan and uh, the error indicated that or the, the, the fan stopped working or it was moving too slow and that could be because of something got stuck inside the fan and uh, well of course the first thing you do is see if the fan is stuck and the funny thing was that uh, when I put the, the speed on on the fan uh, I put it in full power then it was rotating like hell I could push my finger against it and uh, well it, it was really rotating hard and I could uh, also uh, let it go slower and, and so everything seemed to work. Now I didn't understand what the message was but I found a YouTube video and in that video someone said well I have had this problem for a year now and I don't know what the problem is but there is no problem because everything goes as planned. And also for me everything went perfectly. Uh, I made this 0.2 millimeter nozzle print which I think is a beautiful detailed print. I also made a lot of other prints with the same printer and uh, both in PLA and PATG and well there were no problems at all. And then all of a sudden I was printing something in white and uh, my eye fell on a black piece of plastic inside that white print. On, on the inside uh, it was not completely finished. Uh, I had to, to put a new roll of white filament in the AMS and I saw something black laying in there. Um, yeah, it was strange and uh, I grabbed it out and uh, well, it, it was something, it seemed as if it was uh, injection molded plastic. It wasn't uh, PLA or, or, or a filament extruded plastic. It was strange but still I couldn't find anything different. Then another print uh, a few days later again that same problem. Uh, again something black this time it was on the build plate and I was thinking to myself well there was something with that part cooling fan so let's detach it and see what's wrong with it. And then when I took the, the cable out, uh, I heard a rattling sound on the inside of this thing. It was really like uh, as if it, it was a shaker. And uh, while making that motion, that shaking motion, all plastic parts fell out and they fell on my print bed. And uh, yeah, there was a lot of plastic that came out of those two holes, the one hole for the... the uh, air exit on one side and one hole for the air exit on the other side. And I was like, huh? What, what just happened? And uh, well, I can show you guys what happened because I opened it up. And when you open it up, you find something really cool on the inside. Uh, you can open the complete part cooling fan and then you get this. There were no fan blades on the fan anymore. So all the blades were ripped off. Uh, I don't know if, if, if they exploded or if they broke off because they got stuck on each other or I really don't know what happened. Uh, but they're almost clinically gone. It's, it's really strange. The, the, the motor is spinning, it's working perfect, but the, the blades are all gone. And it's really strange. I don't know how this happened. There wasn't something else inside the fan. Uh, so it must have been one blade that broke and then the others fell on top of that or something like that. I really don't know, but something like that must have happened. Which, yeah, leads me to the conclusion that if you have the same error, uh, which is uh, yeah, a notice on the screen that sometimes pops up, which says that there is an uh, HMS error with a long number on it, 
and you will find that it's a um, the speed of the part cooling fan is too slow or stopped well check your fan because it might as well be the same as what what i had so now i have to go and buy a new one that's a problem because at this moment uh, today they also introduced the p2s printer um, but you can't buy replacements for this at the moment uh, they're all sold out so yeah i have to wait uh, until there is stock again and then i can repair that printer and uh yeah we'll see i'll keep you guys posted bye bye